everybody. So, you know, I'm like most people, I like washing my clothes and then drying them. And uh, I had a problem with my dryer not turning on the heat. I thought it might have been the, res you know, the resistance in the bottom, but everything checks out. The only thing is that this relay here is not passing power from one terminal to the other. And, uh, you know, we get 12, you know, 120 volts going in one way, but nothing at the other way. So if you read here, this thing needs 12 volts to operate. So for some reason, it really is not turning on. We tested, we removed it from the board. It, it really actually works. And just for reference, the UCs on Canmore and Whirlpool dryers. Mine's a Maytag, but it still uses the same, the same board. There's the uh, board for reference, the actual uh, actual serial number, I mean the actual model number, right there's the W -la 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 number there. But the one thing I did notice was after I got all the dust off of it, was that uh, if you see here, my board sends 12, uh, let's see if I can put them right away. Okay, my board sends 12 volts from here all the way up to here. And the other side of the board is right above this plug. Now, actually, this flashlight is not helping you guys at all. But if I can focus this here, if you can kind of, you can kind of see that the whole circuit is corroded. So if you follow that circuit, it goes down. That's the second line right here, right through the DC4 thing right there right past the D13, and then it goes down past the resistor into that little hole right there. So the fix we're gonna do is pretty simple here. We are going to go ahead and solder a ca uh, cable just to, uh, just to bypass this whole circuit from that actual point right here to where that, uh, that actual connection uh, actually happens on the board here, which is right about the D13 I said, so right here, which if you look, is that hole, so flip it around, let me see if I can do this uh, without having a line shine through, because I'm using one hand here, it's got to be kind of hard, looking through, Bear with me guys, I'm just looking through, trying to do this, it's hard to film on one hand and look this through with the other. Okay. And again, you guys can do this at your own risk, but it looks to me like, if you look at the board, it's that hole right here. I'm obviously going to confirm this by shining the light through and verifying that that's the circuit I'm talking about, but... It looks like the one that it is. And if I actually post this, it's because it worked. So, fingers crossed. And hopefully it's helped somebody else. But uh, there you go, man. That's uh, great Whirlpool technology.